Hello, in this video, I'm going to show you how to get started with the Digilent Analog Discovery Studio Max. The Digilent Analog Discovery Studio Max comes with the base hardware that you see here with me, as well as the Canvas Max breadboard prototyping surface. What we're going to do to get started is first plug in our power cable. This goes in the back of the device. We also want to connect our USB-C cable also to the back of the device and then to my computer on the other end. Remember that you must select the correct power cable that works with your region when you are um, ordering and setting up your Analog Discovery Studio Max. It also comes with the Canvas Max board, which I'm going to put in my device by inserting it into the slot that it has for it. A gentle push should get it in. Once I'm ready and set up, what I'm going to do is turn on my device. There's a switch in the back of the Analog Discovery Studio Max to enable power to it. You will see that the LEDs light up on the left side. And then you can also enable board power so that you get the five 3.3 and plus minus 15 volt power rails into your breadboard. Now the hardware looks ready, let's look at the software. The Digital and Analog Discovery Studio Max uses the Waveform software. This free software that is available through digital.com enables access to more than 14 instruments that are on board the Analog Discovery Studio Max. You can download from here free, and I'm going to use it now to test really quick that my device is connecting and that I can see one of my instruments. I'm going to open waveforms in my computer, and it will automatically start searching for devices. If the hardware for some reason can't be found, you will see it here, and it will give you tips on how to get it properly connected. Once it has been identified, I can open my scope, which is shown here in the, in the, in the laptop, and I can do a single run. Of course, I'm going to see noise uh, because my trigger is automatic and I don't have a waveform coming in right now since this device is new. Uh, but once you start working with your circuits, you can start seeing your signals uh, through the channels here. This is just a quick look on how to get started. We'll see you in the classroom. Thank you so much.